Hey, greetings and salutations. Uh, Happy New Year. Uh, Ten days late. Um, Sorry about that. Anybody that knows me really well will tell you I'm a little slow on the uptake. Um, Just wanted to, you know, drop in, say hi, um, let you know a little bit what's been going on in the shop, um, answer some questions. Uh, From our count, we have almost, what, Jake, 350? Uh, new subscribers just in the last month or two. Um, a, uh, a heartfelt thanks to all of you um, for uh, subscribing. Um, hope you're getting something out of this, and I hope uh, it doesn't disappoint. Um, there's a lot of things, you know, coming down the pike. Um, I apologize for my absence. I've been hearing about it left, right, front, and center. But as I've indicated in previous videos. Um, working full time and doing this and waiting for my cameraman to get back from trying to blow up Daffy Duck out of the air. Uh, it gets a little tough sometimes to keep up with all this. Um, first thing, I uh, managed to actually get uh, four built uh, last year. Um, one isn't sitting in here, that's the uh, Mobius Chrysler. but um, And the 57 Ford, uh, the orange one back there. Um, that was the first one of 2018. That would have been done in 2017, but I screwed the pooch on uh, masking off the um, side panels for the interior. And <laughs> I had to go buy another kit because I was a little impatient and I didn't want to work and wait. So they went in the uh, strip tank and I raped the new kit, imagine that, and took the parts out and then I just painted them up. Um, I've had a lot of questions about that one, so we're going to address them as it goes. Uh, the weathered piece, that was the uh, piece that we did for the Patreon channel for you new guys. We do have an educational channel running off of this also. Um, you can check that out. It's in one of the videos, you know, the, how to go about doing it. Jake set it up. Um, this kit is excellent. Um, I have no qualms about it. Um, I have no complaints about it. It goes together very well, as the 57 Coupe, the sedan also. Um, no fitment problems whatsoever. I struggled a little bit with the, um, the orange one. Um, I got it all put together and uh, I had the right front tire lifting up. Well, it's just a matter of adjusting the frame a little bit, doing a little twisty turny. And that happens sometimes after you paint. You might get a little mm, cant to it. But we bent it and straightened it out. Now, some of the questions that were asked, um, like on the, uh, on the weather one, um, I put pictures of this up for 2017 on Model Car Magazine's forum, you know, the builds. And uh, somebody really liked the windows. A couple guys asked about how I did the windows. Um, it's really simple. Uh, just took uh, wet dry sandpaper, no wet, um, just used it dry and scratched the windows. And then I took um, acrylic chalk, slime green <laughs> acrylic chalk, it's fugly believe me, and um, just streaked it. And the chalk went into the, um, into the scratch marks and a lot of times this is what you'll see in a car that's been sitting, especially down south, if it's a swampy area, you get a lot of uh, humidity, um, you get mold growing in the interiors, and this is the, uh, the end of it. Now I built this one as a gasser. Um, for you guys that are taking a step up and or out, and you want to build this and you want to use the wider tires, what I did with this one is I used the slicks out of one of the 68 Dark Kits. They're the same that's in the 41 uh, Willys Gasser. Um, I just had enough clearance. So my suggestion is, is if you're going to want to use the um, bigger tires, which I feel look a lot better than what you wanna, you're going to want to do, you want to take like two small blocks, equal size, and uh, put them underneath the rear shackles, which will give the ass end a little bit of a lift to it. And uh, you don't have any tie rub because you want it to look as realistic as you possibly can. Otherwise, the front suspension and everything else like that is from the kit. 
Um, very pleased with the way that it went together. Um, now, me personally, I was a little disappointed with the um, with the wheels and the tires on this. I just felt that they were a little bit too small, and it was a little bit of an awkward appearance. Hence, that's why I went with the uh, with the other tires. Another thing somebody brought up, and I don't know if Jake's going to be able to catch this or not. Certainly, you're not going to see it on this. But what I did, and you might be able to see it. Jake, can you see the black? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, somebody asked me how I did that, and it was very simple. Um, I took a, uh, I took Tester's black acrylic, and I just ran a brush around the um, the edges and it looks like a seal which is good as I said this fits up nice and tight um, now I didn't want to um, use the kit wheels and tires so I went robbing a little bit the top front tires came out of one of the uh, new Ravel uh, 67 Camaros um, the rear tires actually I stole out of one of the Mobius uh, Chrysler kits I flipped them over, shot them with black acrylic to take away the white wall, and then I used uh, model house wires. Now, to give them some relief, I took a little bit of uh, Dollar um, India ink. Um, any of you guys that drink iced tea like I do, the Pure Leaf, I always save the lids. Threw a little bit of that in there, put a little bit of warm water in it, mixed it up brushed it in. The sweet part about this stuff is is you take one of the Tamiya applicators, the small ones, and you just, you know, move it around and take the blacking off of the spokes. Um, just rated the parts box a little bit. I used, uh, you know, Detail Master wire and the fittings for the brake lines and everything, you know, throughout the build. And um, it's a custom mix of uh, testers enamels as a base, and then I took Perlex laden clear coat, and um, uh, from you know it's it's the clear top coat from testers, and um, I put the Perlex in it, and then I overshoot, and then I just shoot general clear top coat over top of that, and uh, it comes out. I mean, that set, I think it's $57 for 32 colors at uh, the local art supply shop. I mean, you change up your base colors and uh, you can, uh, you know, you can come up with a whole rainbow of colors all by yourself or get the paint rack. Uh, the valve cover, I'm, I'm sorry, the air cleaners are from parts by park as far as I'm concerned, pound for pound, ounce for ounce. These are the sweetest ones uh, out there right now. Uh, again, uh, Morgan Automotive Design uh, pre-wired distributor, uh, Detail Master fittings. I also used one of uh, Chris's uh, MSD boxes from Morgan Auto Design. Uh, the rest of it, it's just detail painting. Um, I did cheat a little bit. Um, I have a tendency to do that. Uh, I didn't like the way that the power steering unit looked. And I'm like, there's something just missing. And what I ended up doing, you can barely see it down in here. I took one of um, Detail Master's gas caps and glued it onto the top of it. Something different. Um, otherwise, this was pretty much, you know, aside from using the, the normal aftermarket uh, parts, um, I did all clad the... Uh, the rear tail lights and the uh, the chrome rings for the uh, the headlights, but uh, basically this was pretty much a uh, out of the box build. Uh, the only other thing that I will caution you about with this kit, and I've noticed it with um, several of the other kits. You're going to want to change the carburetors. If you want to put linkage and you want to put fuel lines and everything on them, um, I happen to steal a set of these, uh, the Hollies, out of one of the uh, Johan uh, Barracuda kits off one of the old Sox and Martin kits. Now, PSF Hobbies, which is located up by Mercer, PA, um, they have resin. Um, Hollies also 
competition resin. Um, they have them, and naturally, I forgot I even had these. They were stuck in a drawer somewhere. I'm sure everybody can sympathize with that. I uh, I cleaned out the one drawer today. I found probably ten new paintbrushes and a uh, bunch of resin parts, and even some more uh, photo etch and aluminum parts that I forgot that I even had. So that's pretty much it on the Ford wagon. Um, now somebody asked me about the wheels and tires that I used on this rally car build uh, from uh, this I took the 67 Camaro from Ravel and uh, I just I had done the body I'd never actually I'd never painted one up like this um, so did the normal routine with the testers enamels then I overshot with uh, some of the Pearl X and uh, I was very happy with the color scheme so sticking with the color scheme I went and rated the uh, how many drawers Jacob decals <laughs> four five six uh, I rated the uh, the slicks packs and um, I came in I come up with color corresponding decals and uh, added a little bit of plastruct to the roll bar that comes with the kit two toned the interior stole different parts out of the various kits I live the kit bash uh, as always I love uh, I love the mad distributors the pre-wired they come in a multitude of colors um, they're well done they're to the scale uh, detail mass I uh, I'll tell you what that's gonna hurt my wallet I have pretty much burned through what I had 3021s out of detail master <laughs> Cheryl's gonna Cheryl's gonna be doing the dance of joy Jake <laughs> Once again, air cleaner from Parts by Park. I mean, as you can see, um, it's the scale. Um, it's got the the uh, it's 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 got the mesh around it, and um, I was very pleased with this. Now, the wheels and the tires, it's aluminum. Um, with they are aluminum. They're spun. They're they're turned aluminum, and they have a um, a resin insert. Now. Here we go. The aluminum inserts, and I know I have one in here. Here we go. <clears throat> that doesn't fit very well, Jake. Wrong tire. Here we go. So you have the tire. You, they can be purchased off a of norm. Um, You've got your aluminum, <coughs> excuse me, and then these insert. Um, for street rods, street machines, and or, you know, race cars. Now, once again, as usual, I cheated on this too because, as you can see, there's no insert on this. And... I didn't have the time or the inclination to try to burn up the internet looking for them. So once again, I cheated and I used gas caps. Sure loves me. And that's the kind of stuff you got to do. And listen to me. I hate to do this. We'll be back. Dinner calls and the blonde has no sense of humor for late. So. Alright, we're back. Ate dinner. Didn't get yelled at too much. Shannon's blueberry muffins. Healthy. <laughs> Anyways. Um, been asked a couple times over the last week or so. Hey old man, what's next for the Patreon channel? Um, the Are we finishing up with the 57? Or we're, we're well on our way with that. On the 57 Ford. Um, with the weather project and then for those of you that don't know we have a weather project going on which is the 57 Ford and also we did a you broke the camera Jake broke the camera what did you break you broke the handle mm -hmm. Jake broke the handle anyways um, we have the weather project and also we have a Work table to show table build going on with the 41 Willys. 
next in line along the lines of that, we sat down, talked about it, um, and also, you know, reached out and asked for, whoops, a few people's, I bumped your camera. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Um, we asked for opinions, and it looks like a uh, street rod, a super stock drag car, and also a pro street and Jake and I were just talking about it a couple minutes ago I think we might be taking one of the um, Mobius uh, 65 Comets now that's gonna be I already played around with it a little bit um, but that is gonna be almost all kit bash um, talked about taking the motor out of one of the uh, AMT 33 Willys uh, the 427 camera out of that and uh, probably end up uh, retrofitting one of the AMT 66 uh, Pro Street Nova frames underneath of it. Um, interior, uh, that'll be a mixed bag of both kit and kit bash. Speaking of AMT, um, this was brought up the other day. Uh, guy, guys carrying on screaming, jumping up and down uh, about the AMT kits. And uh, this is the AMT 37 Chevy, okay? Um, <clears throat> kidnapped some wheels and tires out of um, the uh, Revell 41 Willys uh, Pro Street kit. Um, the wheels and tires, I think I stole those out of one of Bob Glidden's uh, Pro Stock uh, Thunderbirds. Um, it's got uh, Bob Dudex. Um, blower scoop and valve covers on it. Uh, somebody asked me um, about the uh, the breathers. Uh, for those of you that own the Tips and Tricks DVD, if you remember correctly, I showed you how to cut them. Um, I simply took uh, two small pieces that I cut off of uh, one of the aluminum tubes and uh, Cheryl from Detail Master sells a speaker kit and uh, the tiniest ones they fit perfectly for breather caps so that answered that question um, getting back to the AMT you get what you put into these kits um, yeah there is a decent amount of you know body work I mean come on let's be honest uh, these kits I mean how these kits were out when I was a little kid and even before some of them um, but they you take that body and you work it and you kit bash and this is what you can come up with also you don't want to prejudice somebody else I mean if you don't want to do it fine but don't whine and cry and bitch and moan about it um, I, you know granted I agree to a certain extent there are some that are dogs but that's all the way across the board in just about every manufacturers arsenal there's two or three dogs um, there's just some that are that are horrible. They don't work. Uh, but in this case, um, a lot of times the AMT bodies, I mean, they're spot on. It's just a matter of, you know, applying yourself, taking your time, and doing your due diligence when it comes to the prep. Ah, that's out of the way. Also, um, did a little bit of uh, playing around uh, with the, um, where is it, Jake? I don't know why Marcos Cruz and I, uh, because you know, custom cars are. I love them. I appreciate all the work that goes into them. It's not always my, you know, um, my cup of tea. But Marcos Cruz and I were down at the NNO East. One of these was built up. This is the uh, the Foos Cadillac that they just come out with uh, a couple months ago. Yeah, I'm a little slow on that uptake too, but here it is. Um, thus far, the body takes next to nothing to prepare. Um, it's well molded. Um, I did notice one thing, and you know, be aware of it. Um, you're gonna need 220 on the frame because the frame kind of has like a, I wouldn't say a mold line, but it's definitely not. Um, it's not the way that it should have been. Um, otherwise. Uh, it's a uh, it's a very nice kit. Now everybody was doing backflips, and they're all excited, and well they should be, about the uh, 
the A990 coming out, the, uh, the California Flash version. Now, preceding that, I picked up one of these at, uh, where were we? Hobby Express, huh? Yeah, up in Cranberry. Um, Jake and I went out there, and uh, I managed to pick one of these up. And I'll be honest with you, and you know me by now, I call it the way that it is. Um, I was disappointed. Uh, reason being is now this is a virgin. This hasn't been touched. Um, the mold lines on the um, Belvedere one are nowhere near as pronounced as what they were on the original release. And uh, it's disappointing. And I'm hoping, I'm praying that this was just, uh, you know, a little misstep. Um, you've heard me talk about them before. Uh, I carried on about them, you know, with the Comet kit. Um, but sometimes, you know, you got to call it for what it is. And, uh, you know, just a heads up because the door lines and the trunk line, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be some work for you to, you know, get it the way that it's supposed to be. I'm hoping and praying that the A990 does not have this characteristic to it because I've already been informed that I have four on the way to do for a customer in Canada and I don't feel like wrestling with that. So that is pretty much all that's been going on around here. Like I said, I managed to get uh, four done. I actually got one done for 2018 already. And uh, there's other stuff coming down the pike. Uh, we're already starting to get wound up for uh, the NNL East. Um, I've, been, uh, I've been prepping bodies left, right, front, and center for that. So uh, for those guys that are looking for the slot car bodies and everything, we're going to have uh, a nice array. It'll be, it'll be all the way across the board. There'll be Chevys, there'll be Fords, there'll be Plymouths, so on and so forth. Um, hopefully get a couple uh, street rod bodies and everything done in the, in the meantime. Uh, Mother Nature has not been the kindest uh, as of late weather-wise. Um, today it was a balmy 65 degrees on January 11th, and then they informed us that tomorrow the bottom's going to drop out again. So it's hit or miss. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful holiday, uh, both Christmas and New Year's. And uh, looking forward to uh, the things that are coming down the pike for uh, the, the new year of 2018. Um, I'll be around. Like I said, I know that there's some people that chirp and get upset with me because where the hell are you at? Well, as I indicated at the beginning, we've got other stuff going on too. And this is only a part-time gig. So until the next time, this is the old man from Loma of Custom Painting. Those of you that just came in that are looking to continue the education a little bit further, please check out the uh, Patri our Patreon uh, channel. Check out the video and the how-to with the Jake set up to if you care to join. Um, have a good week. God bless and take care of yourselves. This is the old man. I'm out.